What's up, guys? It's Jay. More than they have to kill, and I'm here on my. Wait a minute. It's motherfucking Saturday. That's right. We are doing the Sunday Q and A on Saturday. Which one episode is gonna go up on Saturday? The next episode is gonna go up on Sunday. And the reason that is is because tomorrow there is a Guardians of Middle Earth tournament. That euros. Per participant, that's right, I said 1,000 euros per participant, so I can't pass up the chance to make 1,000 euros, right? No, nobody can, so, uh, you know what, we're gonna go into that tournament, and we're gonna fuck some shit up, and then I'm gonna come back, and we're gonna have some goddamn tournament championship footage for you guys to watch of us making some goddamn money. So, uh, I didn't notice this, but a lot of you guys were, were telling me... That there is a motherfucking, <laughs> there, there's a goddamn, like, compass at the bottom. And that tells me where to go and shit. And that's, uh, that's pretty fucking awesome. So let's go into the questions right now. Our first question is from AQ. Uh, was King Omnig? <laughs> I don't know. Fucking, whatever. But anyway, uh, his question is, my question is, why more than after kill? Or am I supposed to know that already? Well, I wouldn't say you're supposed to know that. But what I would say is, uh, hold on, let me adjust my, my volume here. I'm using my Astros right now. And they're a lot louder than my Turtle Beaches are. They're not as loud as my Tritons are, in my opinion. But you know what? I don't want the sound bleeding through my headset, coming through my mic. Oh, shit, what is that? These motherfuckers are fucking me up. Hey, get out of here. What up? <laughs> so anyway, the question is, why more than after kill? Why is my name more than after kill? Uh, the same reason why this motherfucker is about to get fucked up. Boop. <laughs> Man, I love that head pop so much. It is fucking, literally, it's literally amazing. It's visually impressive. And talking about a five-year-old game, and we're talking about visually impressive shit, that is a... Uh, that's impressive in its own goddamn right now, isn't it? I think so. So we're going to go ahead and follow this waypoint here. And uh, you know what? Actually, let's. where's my sniper rifle? There it is. There's my snipper. My snipper. This thing is beast right here. It's golden too. Gotta love it. But uh, my name is more than after kill for uh, quite a few reasons, actually. Number one is uh, the most obvious reason is that it's a play on words. It's a play on words of the more than after pill. Which is, uh, you know, kind of my own little social commentary out there. I'm not going to go ahead and get into abortion or none of that shit with you guys. But, uh, look at these motherfuckers. They're going to come over here and get snipped. But, uh, oh, it's a spitter skag and he's level 10. That was a bad shot. <laughs> come on. How did that miss him? Yeah. So, anyway, uh. Why, why more than after kill? Like I said, it's kind of a play on words of the more than after pill. It's a pretty easy to, you know, get that, gather that much uh, from what my name is. There's also a few, what is that? It's an elder skin. Boop. Look at this motherfucker. Oh, shit. He's roaring. He's roaring. That's when I can get a crit on him. Look at this bitch. Look at this shit. Get out of here. Whoop. Right in the mouth. When you're a vagina mouth. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. Get out of here. Look you. You got a vagina for a mouth. That's kind of gross. And if you ever see a vagina that looks like that, fucking run. Seriously. Vaginas are not supposed to look like that. But, uh, it's like a mean vagina. It's an angry vag. <laughs> but, yeah, like I said, it's, uh, it's sort of like fucking, I guess you would say, uh, you know, a more than after pill reference. You know, my own little social commentary. There's also a few other reasons that are a little bit more personal that I don't feel like going into. But, uh, you know. We'll get into that one day. We'll get into that. That's why I haven't done my Road to 30 yet. Like, a lot of people, like, really want to see the Road to 30 shit that I was going to do. And uh, the problem with that is fucking, you know, it's really hard to go out there and do some shit, like, uh, some real personal shit on my channel because, you know, that's it's personal, you know. it's it's That's what it is, and it's hard to get through that. So uh, that's why I haven't really gotten personal on my channel yet. But uh, I will with you guys, I promise, I swear. I will do my Road to 30. It's just, uh, like I said, I, I, I want people to watch it. And sometimes when I put up videos that aren't Borderlands, don't pe nobody watches that shit. Nobody watches it. So, like, it's got to take, like, two or three weeks to get any type of views on it. So, uh, I, I mean, I'm not a view whore, 
But I mean, it is nice when people actually watch the shit that you're making. Oh shit! Look at this bitch. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm gonna pop you right in the mouth. Poop! <laughs> yeah! What the hell's. Oh, he was stunned. Alright, I gotta get used to these animations. Look at that level up, son! We just hit level 11. That is good. It's good shit. Let's go rifle through some pile of skag dookie. See if we can get any ammo out here. But uh, the next question is from DJ Leon. And he says, I bought Borderlands Game of the Year on Steam for $7.49. Nice. Oh shit. It's a fire. It's a bad ass fire skag. Look at this motherfucker. He is about to get tore up. And he's tearing me up. He's tearing me up. Get out of here. Uh, I'm going to have to go out of this way. See if we can't pop this pussy from behind. Wow. That is uh, that is not good. That is not good at all. Look at this little motherfucker here. Get away from me. <laughs> it's a badass fire sky. I can't do shit. Oh, shit. And it's another. I'm, I'm going down. It's a badass skag and a badass fire skag. Two levels above me. Not cool. Not cool at all, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Can I get up? Is it gonna let me up? No. Poop. We died already. Poop. That's what we say. Now we gotta go ahead and buy some more ammo. And it uh, looks like... It looks like... Let's... Let's grab some of that, and we're gonna grab some snipper ammo. That is a... You know what? I just noticed... I am not using my grenades. Why am I not using my grenades? I could have probably easily tore through one of them motherfuckers with a grenade. And you know what? Why am I not using my fucking skill points down there? Let's, uh... Where's it at? Where, where do we go to adjust our skill points? So, we need some more shit. We need some shit to fuck some shit up. What is this? Melee attacks can daze damage. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, fuck the shield. Increase fire rate with all weapons. Increase any critical hit damage. Silent. What What is down here? Let's take a look at this real quick. Uh, kill an enemy. Blah, blah, blah. Fate hit and run. Uh, hmm. So we already got four skill points over here. I'm pretty sure that... Uh, let, me, let me see some of this. Yeah, see? All right. Five skill points. It's going to let us go into the next tree, which... I want some of this enforcer right there. That's that's what I want. I want some of that shit. So, uh, you know what? DJ Leon said he bought uh, Game of the Year on Steam for seven bucks. I bought it for seven bucks too. I thought it was five bucks, but I went back and looked. It actually was. God damn it! Look at these motherfuckers out here. No reason at all. They're just shooting me. Come on. Yeah. Hold your stomach, bitch. Let's see if we can't get a headshot on this pussy. Yeah, that's what I like. That's what I'd like to see. So let's go ahead and catch a ride from Scooter, which although he does, he sounds different in this game. And uh, one of you guys actually told me that Scooter sounds different because the voice actor that does Scooter actually had a stroke, uh, which is terrible. That is that's terrible. So what the fuck is B? Hey. Stop beating my ass while I'm trying to... Oh, poop. <laughs> Look at these skags. Just... What the fuck? Where's it at? Oh, there it is. Blowing that motherfucker up. So that works. Let's go ahead and catch a ride right here. And, uh, yeah, you know what? Buying this game on Steam is a great way to spend $7. It really is. I don't know if it's still on sale, but if it is, you might want to check that out because, uh, it's pretty amazing. It's it's a great game, and I'm enjoying it. So uh, I think you would enjoy it, especially if you haven't played Borderlands 2, or if you have played it and you want to play something kind of similar but still kind of different. I'd, I'd go ahead and check this game out. Look at this, all the badass skags left. Mother, up oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Uh, we'll just run his ass over then. That's how we do it. That's what's up. We actually took out that badass fire skag really easily. 
And uh, there's poop right here. Is there anything? Nope. Not good in the poop. Not good in the poop. Uh, should I? Which way should I be going? God damn it. I hate this compass map. I hate the compass map. So let's move on to the next question. It's from uh, Duty SD. He said, if you made a game, what would it be like? Uh, I've answered. Oh, shit. It's a rack. That's not good. Nobody likes racks. Let's uh, let's look at the mini map. I know you guys hate when I do this, but god damn it. I'm... How do I zoom in and out? There we go. Uh, where the fuck am I supposed to be going? Uh, I guess I'm just supposed to go all the way to that where I just was, I guess. Right? Which, which way is it? Uh, that was great. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think I'm going the right way now. Follow this road down here. So, I know you guys really do hate that, but I'm still trying to get used to the game. I don't know this map at all. I've never played Borderlands 1 before. So, uh, you know, bear with me, guys. Bear with me. But his question, DDSD, says, if you made a game, what would it be like? Actually, I've already answered this question many, many times before. And uh, I'm not going to go ahead and answer it because, you know, I've already done that plenty of times. But uh, what I do want to say is, oh, I think I'm supposed to be, am I supposed to be going right there? Where the fuck am I supposed to be going? It says right here. Uh, I don't understand. Is this guy? Oh, there's a guy here. I didn't even see this motherfucker. What up, bitch? Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and meet this guy. Let's see. We got to go ahead and kick Sledge out of Headstone Mine. Uh... Right, so this is a level 10. All right, so we can do this. Uh, get the flock out of here. Let's go ahead and pick up the sledge. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. So, all right, mine gate key. Great. Where are we supposed to be going on a mini map here? I know you guys hate it. I know you hate it. All right, so left and straight out into a big fucking cul-de-sac, or as I like to call it, a cul de scrotum. Shut up, claptrap. Shut your fucking face. <laughs> God damn it. I don't know why Claptrap actually bothers me so much. He just really does. I just, I can't stand the motherfucker. So, uh, it's probably like how some of the people feel when they watch my videos. They're like, I can't stand this motherfucker. You know, you know, well, you know sometimes you gotta race. You know, I can't, I can't make you like me. I can't make myself like Claptrap. You know, it's just how it is, you know. So, uh, that's life. Sometimes you just can't explain some of the things. Look at this guy. Oh, what? What? That was bullshit. Wow. This psycho is fast. I don't know why. Oh, look at this guy. It's a bruiser. I remember these from Borderlands too. Look, look, look at that. Sh oh, shit. He ate that shit really good. Nice. <laughs> Come on. Really? Really, dude? Alright. So, we're playing really cautiously right now. Just because I don't want to die again. That fucking goddamn skag pissed me off. Now look, here comes the bruiser. He's just gonna... He's gonna get combat rifled. Let's just, uh... Alright. Um, maybe not. Maybe, maybe the enemies in this game aren't level resistant, but they have their own levels of resistant, which would be crazy, because uh, in Borderlands 2, like, all the all the enemies really don't have any, like, what the fuck is that? What is shooting at me? I need a mini-map with red dots to tell me where my enemies are. <laughs> oh, there, he was all crouched, I didn't see him there and shit. Look, Stand up so I can shoot you. Look at these motherfuckers. Let's throw a grenade out there. We haven't really thrown grenades much. Let's see how, how effective they are in this game. Look at that. A nice little Merv there. Take this guy down with my submachine gun. This is a burst fire submachine gun, which is kind of crazy. You don't really see that in Borderlands too much. You don't really see that. So, uh, anyway, yeah, he asked me what a game would be like if I made it. Well, actually, I am looking for one of the uh, indie game developers that I've come across within my time on uh, YouTube. And I am going to be uh, trying to shop to see if anybody of them wants to uh, 
What? I heard somebody talking. Yeah. All right. Where do we turn this bad boy in? Where do we turn it in? Mind gate key. What the fuck? So, uh, like I said, anyway, I noticed there's red fucking dots down there below my goddamn shit. So there's a lot of enemies out there. L let's go ahead and snipe this guy. Let's, uh... Boop. How is that not hitting him? Do you see that? Is it because of the shields? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. See, look, oh, there goes his shield. Alright, alright, uh, I guess this gun actually has a range on it. Oh, shit. Hey, die! Who's shooting me from over this way? Oh, look at this guy. Crouched on the ground and shit for no reason. Come on! This sniper was working way better last time I played. <laughs> I guess it's because I leveled up and shit, and, you know, I guess the weapons work diff- Oh! Alright, alright, we'll take that. We will take that. Look, 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 look at this guy up here. Look at this guy. Alright, now, we just gotta get back into the groove. We just gotta get back into the groove. Let's take a look at this. Um, yeah, actually, I do want that. Let's go ahead and drop something. Let's- What do we got? What do we got? We got some garbage right here. Let's- Let's get rid of this fanged teteor. Fuck you. Get out of here, you garbage piece of shit. And let's go ahead and uh, equip this green guy. Where, where, What's the fire SMG? We can use that. We can definitely use that. Because look, look, at, look at this shit, man. Fucking fire SMG versus some bandits. I'll take that all day long. So anyway, like I was saying, I am shopping, uh, you know, developers for indie games to see if anybody wants to make the game that I want to make. And, uh... You know what? That, that would, Oh, shit. Oh, look at the fire just go right through him. You're corrosive, too, and you just died. That's a shame, bro. That's a shame. Give me my shit. Let's go ahead and teabag him. Uh, 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 uh. So, uh, yeah, I can't release the details of what I want to do because I don't want nobody to take my shit. But, uh, rest assured... I think you guys would really enjoy it. Where do I gotta go, man? Where do I gotta go? Alright, uh, see this compass thing says I'm, like, right here to turn in? I don't understand exactly. Oh, look at that. Look at this, the mind key. Uh, turn in. Set of a key, you found a note that was left in its place. Years of accumulated dust. The key won't be returned anytime soon. You need to look for it elsewhere. Alright. So, let's go ahead and, uh, wow, this is level 14. Yeah, I, I see that. So, let's go ahead and travel back to the Firestone Bounty Board. I'm only level 11, and that mission, you're supposed to be level 14. So, we're going to go do uh, grinding and some side missions and shit. I know a lot of you guys are yelling at the screen, you're like, Fucking do this, do that, there's shit over here. And I mean, I, I swear to God, I do the same thing when I'm watching something that I know, like, you know, this person's fucking some shit up and they need to, you know, do a little bit better than that. What the fuck was that hairy pussy sticking out of the ground? Was that a rack hive? Was that a rack hive? Anyway, the next question, let's get on with it, is from Lewis G. World. And actually, it's not even a question. It's him telling me about the little compass at the bottom. And after I watched my video, I realized that. And I feel fucking stupid as shit. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for helping me make make myself feel stupid. Nah, I'm just joking, man. <laughs> Let's get on with the next question. And it's from Samuel McLennan. He says, Jay, what the fuck is up? Will you do Borderlands 1 hidden chest videos like you do on Borderlands 2? And you know what? That's something I never really, I never really entertained, really, was, uh, actually fucking doing Borderlands 1's videos, like how I did Borderlands 2, doing full coverage on it, just because the game's like five years old. But you know what? If you guys think that you want to see that, and you really want to, like, you know, you want to see me, you know, cover some Easter eggs and shit, and shit that I find or whatever... I'll do that. I have no problem doing that. So let's go, uh, 
Let's go ahead to the bounty board and uh, let's grab this guy. Circle of Tires. Let's grab that shit. So, uh, looks like the compass says we gotta go over that way. Which is fine. We'll just get into Pink Bomber. The Pink Bomber motherfucker. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's an interesting thought, uh, Sam. So, go ahead and tell me, guys, if you really wanna see that. If you wanna see me doing some fucking Borderlands 1 video and cover the game how I did Borderlands 2. If you think that would be, uh, something you're willing to watch. I have no problem. Like, I always do subscriber requested videos. And I, I know a lot of, like, you know, I guess, uh, YouTubers say they do subscriber requested videos. They don't. They really don't. They, they take subscriber ideas, but they don't fucking, you know what I mean. What the hell is that? Oh, look, I just gotta run shit over. I'm good at that. I'm good at running shit over. <laughs> so, uh, the next question is from... Uh, Twix11SPL, and he says, are you superstitious? Uh, if you're talking about, you know, step on a crack, break your mother's back type of shit, you know, uh, fucking black cats and ladders, not really, but I do have, like, my own set of superstitions that, you know, have come from, you know, years of being, uh, I guess a stoner. Or a pothead. I know a lot of you guys actually really picked up on that. You're like, man, you sound like a stoner. But like, uh, I, I, you know, I've smoked a lot of weed in my life. So I guess, uh, you know, the, 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 the whole mannerisms of stoners never really die out. Like, you know, you still always have that carefree fucking mindset and shit. It's just, a, you know, a real different type of uh, mindset from average people. And, uh, you know... Those of you guys that picked up on it, that's pretty cool. But, uh, like, some of the things that I've noticed were, like, uh, I guess, like, real shit, though. They were, get out of the car. Get out of the car. Anyway, uh, you know, like, fucking, I guess, uh, you know, never carry a 50 in your pocket. Because if you carry a 50, you're going to bring on the 5-0. Get it? You know, 50, 5-0. Uh, that's always been a pretty, uh pretty big one with myself uh another one is shit like uh i know you guys are gonna be like go pick up all the fucking missions dude. well i don't like that i don't like to clutter out my missions uh inside my screen i like to work on them like you know one or two at a time so this is a uh, what we're gonna do this is how we do it man this is uh where the fuck is that green shit at where are we going all the way out there. God damn it. Sweet. So anyway, uh, yeah, other ones were like, you know, don't buy the blunt before you get the weed and shit like that. I know I shouldn't be telling you guys this, but, uh, you know, everybody has a past. Everybody has a past, and that just makes up who you are and fucking, you know, what, what you've done with your life and, you know, what type of person you are. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't give up my pot smoking days in my teenage years for anything, because my pot smoking days were fun. They were they were fun. I gotta admit, they were. I had a lot of fun back in the day with fucking marijuana. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's why I don't tell people that they should, you know, not smoke or anything like that. If you want to do what you want to do, you know, you do what you're gonna do. Everybody's gonna make their own fucking mistakes. And this looks fucking. This looks scary. There's shit going on out in here. So. uh... No, I'm not really superstitious, but I do have my own, you know, set of ground superstitions that, you know, I've come to realize in my life. So, uh, let's get on with the next question. And it's from Rob's Rules 001. And he has a list of questions here, so we're going to get on with them. Uh, the first question he has is, did you go to college? No. No, I didn't. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, why didn't you go to college? Why the fuck didn't you go to college? Well, you know what, motherfucker? College isn't for everybody. I know a lot of people are like, well, you gotta go to college. You gotta fucking... Nah, you know. It's just not for me, man. Is this the motherfucker I gotta meet? Yeah. Alright. Give me my shit. Uh, circle of death. Get in there. You live. You get paid. Uh, you die. I get paid a lot more. Oh, oh, alright. Uh, well, go fuck yourself. I'm only level 11 and that's a level 12 uh, circle of death mission. Which kind of seems like it's an Underdome style uh, from, like, you know, Fink Slaughterhouse and shit. So we are going to go ahead and decline that. But no, 
I did not go. Uh, I did not go to college. College isn't for everybody, and I am not the type of person that can literally sit into a classroom and have people tell me what to do. Uh, especially the biggest thing is that I used to get in trouble for in school all the time. And, you know, I even told my son the same thing. If a teacher ever tells you that you can't go to the bathroom, get up and walk out. Go go to the bathroom on your own time. You do not have to ask anybody, anybody in the world for permission to empty your cock into a toilet. So, fucking, if you feel like emptying your cock into a toilet, you go ahead, fucking... You know, you'll probably get in trouble for it at school, but if you go ahead and tell your parents, why did you get kicked out of, uh, fucking, why did you get in trouble in school or detention? Be like, I got up and I went to the bathroom. That is all I did, you know? Look at this shit. This is, a uh, level 15? No, no. I, I don't know. I think I'm way under-leveled right now, which means we're gonna have to grab, grab, ah, grab, grind some mobbies. <laughs> yeah. So, no, uh, School was never for me, man. Like, even high school and shit. I got, I got kicked out of a lot of fucking schools. And I got in a lot of trouble. Fucking, you know, it's just, some people are built for that type of shit. And those people that are built for that, you know, I envy them. Because I, you know, I, I wish I could have the, uh, you know, I guess the fucking ability to sit there and shut the fuck up for an hour or two to go to school. Because it's just not me, man. I'm a talkative person. I'm a hyper person. If I feel like getting up to go do shit, I'm going to I'm stuck. God damn it. I'm going to get up and go do shit. So that's uh, just who I am. And the next question is... Uh, look at this shit. Die, motherfucker. Die. So, uh, yeah, his next question is, how old are you? I'm 29. Do you play Call of Duty? I do not. I have played Call of Duty. I do own Call of Duty. Uh, do I play it? No, not really. The only reason I ever played Black Ops 2 was, the survey says, because I wanted to do emblems. And fuck it. You know, I didn't fucking... I didn't feel like goddamn, uh... You know, you have to unlock shit. So, yeah. That's pretty... I got, like, off track here. Where the fuck am I supposed to be going? Where the hell am I? I think I'm supposed to be going to find, like, a hidden journal or some shit. I don't know, but I need to get up to, like, level 12 or 13 so I can continue on with the story missions. So, uh, where am I? I need to get, I need to learn this map. I don't know this map, man. I know you guys that are Borderlands veterans, like I said, are watching this and you're freaking the fuck out right now. You're like, oh my god, you're not doing it right. You're doing it wrong. And, uh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, you know, not all of us were fucking, you know, badass at a game straight away. You know, you gotta learn your way around where the fuck to go, where not to go. And look, I I've already, already passed this. I, I gotta say, Borderlands 2 hit it on the head with the, uh, with the minimap. This game needs a minimap for sure. So, uh, look at this motherfucker getting all runned over and shit. Get it all run over. Run over. Run over. <laughs> uh, the boathead's going to be in here. Nice. Nice. So, uh, no, I don't play Call of Duty. This is Ass or Tits. If you've ever watched any of my channel, you'll know I love ass. Look at this motherfucker. Yeah, bitch. Oh, look, it's Bonehead. Bonehead's about to get fucked up. Oh shit! I don't have any grenades. What? Look at this shit! Get out of here, bandit thug! All right, it's a midget. It's a shoddy midget too. What up, shoddy? Uh, Bonehead is pretty nasty, but hopefully he drops something cool for me. I heard he's got good drops. People say. People say he's got good drops. So let's go see how... Oh, shit! Look at this. I'm level 11. And I'm picking up a bone shredder. What the fuck is a bone shredder? Look, look at the damage on it. That's crazy. It keeps changing. What? what? What's all that about? So let's go ahead. I already have a bone shredder, it says. 
What the fuck? Oh, it's ten times two? So, uh... I don't need this bone shredder. It's it's the same weapon, but he dropped it again. And see, that's what Borderlands... Oh, what's this? Asymmetrical gorilla shield, fast recharge, blah, blah, blah. No. We don't, we don't want none of that shit. So, uh... Yeah, he dropped another purple. That's pretty fucking awesome. So, where are we going? Where are we going? There's supposed to be something back here for me. Yep. Nice. Oh, it's Tannis. Tannis has said hello. Abandoned alien technology. That's pretty sick. I like abandoned alien technology. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, the next question is from uh, Lex Mitty, and he says, uh, are you skinny, chubby, or a fat fuck? Uh, wow, that's a fucked up question. Uh, actually, I am I am on the uh, chubbier side. I'm about like, uh, you know, like 215 usually, to be between like 215 and 250, somewhere around there. Depending upon what, uh, what year you met me in my life, because, uh, you know, a lot of things happen, like, you know, shit happens and you get depressed and fucking, you know, you gain a little bit of weight, especially when you get older, too, because weight is so easy to fucking gain when you get older. Like, seriously, you eat a hamburger and you feel like shit for three days and you're like, God damn, man. You know, maybe I shouldn't have ate that hamburger. <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, I've always been on the chunkier side of uh, life. And you know what? I don't give a fuck because, like I said, you know, I used to be, uh... Used to be a stoner man, and you know, I've I've toured through many a fucking many a buckets of chicken. <laughs> but no, I'm just saying, like, uh, you know, which way am I going? All right, so uh, I should be around here somewhere. But yeah, I've always been a uh, like even even at my smallest, like like I look like a crackhead that I'm so skinny that fucking like at two fifteen. You wouldn't even recognize, like, fucking, that I was actually 215. Because I am kind of, uh, I am, like, a taller dude. I fucking, I, I did play football, so I do have a lot of, uh, you know, I, I got a stocky build. I got a fucking, look, what's in there? Firestone Coliseum. What up? All right, so, like I said, I am a stockier dude, fucking. I used to play football. I used to play a little bit of a fullback, a little bit of a middle linebacker and shit like that. Fucking had a little bit of fun with that, but... You know, what's that? Red f huh? Let's go ahead and uh, sh shut Tannis up real quick. And oh, I got an empty slot. What up? Let's go ahead and pick that bitch up. Yeah, why don't you shut the fuck up, Tannis? Yeah, yeah. So uh, they're going through the story of Borderlands 1. I have subtitles on for you guys in case you do want to watch it over top of my fucking... You know, random babbling and rambling on about eating buckets of chicken and being a stocky dude. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like, fucking, I've always been a stocky dude. I got fucking shoulders for days, man. Fucking, I mean, I've never had, like, huge arms or biceps or anything like that. But I'm just, I'm just like a fucking thick meat popsicle person. <laughs> no, just a, uh, uh, shit. I've just fucking, like, built like a football player, man. That's how it's always been. Fucking, you know, fuck. I guess, I guess you could say, like, uh, God, I hate to say it, but, like, there's a lot of, lot of New Jersey people that are guidos that have, like, the same build as me, which is, uh, you know, I'm not saying, like, oh, yeah, I got abs for days, like the situation, son. Hell no, son. No abs. No abs for sure. Just, like, I, I can't even think of who to, like... I, I can't say, like, who the fuck would I resemble, I guess. Uh, like, skinnier Silent Bob. <laughs> That's pretty much what I look like. I'm, like, a skinnier Silent Bob. So, uh, yeah. Not chubby. Not fat as fuck. Just, you know, just a thick dude. Fucking put a hurting on you. Fucking get you in a headlock and... Wrangle your shit out. <laughs> let's uh, let's go ahead and increase melee damage and phase walk duration. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's go ahead and uh, get some enforcer. I want some enforcer. What up, bandit? What up? How did that not hit anything? That doesn't hit shit. 
Hey! <laughs> Look at these bandits just running at me like... They, they don't have the greatest of uh... Did he kill himself? Fine. Go ahead, I'm cool with that. So, the next question is from uh... Agent Trigger. Agent Trigger? I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure. Uh, he says, Why don't you like Claptrap? He is so lovable. Uh... I've already discussed this. I don't know. I don't know why I don't like Claptrap. It's just, uh... Damn! You got no legs, bitch! Where's your legs? There's one of them. There's the other. It's a foot! It's a foot. Sticking out of the ground. Do I have to go up in here to find this Echo? What the fuck was shooting at me? Did you see that? I hope there's no buzzards in this game. That would make me a sad panda. I think I gotta go up there. I'm not sure. We're not sure, folks. Move along. Nothing to see. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There is shit busted off all over the place. Mm, it's a mutant midget psycho. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with the next question because I don't know why I don't like Claptrap. I just I just don't like Claptrap. So, uh, the next question is from The Deep Cheese. And he says, what do you use to record on a PC? Boom, bitch! That's what I use. <laughs> no, I, use uh, I use a program. It's called Bandicam. I'm actually the only YouTuber on YouTube. That's sponsored by Bandicam. And in my opinion, they make some of the best screen captured software. Oh shit, they're up on top of the roof. They're on top of the roof. Can we can we snipe? Can we snipe? Boop. Nice. Hey. That That was a bad shot, sir. I I'm, I'm not a very good sniper. Maybe we'll just Nope. How was I doing it last week? I guess, you know what, it's got to be like 3 in the morning when I'm doing this. Right now it's 3 in the afternoon, and I am like entirely too aware of what's going on right now. Usually when I play, it's usually late, and I just don't really give a fuck what's going on. And uh, I think that is a great way to play. That is an explosive rubberized. How about no? Let's go ahead and plat. Oh, look at this. We found a nice little hidden chest. That's what's up. I don't know if that's so hidden, though, because it's kind of like, you know, shut up. <laughs> Let's see what this is. 37, 85, 8.1. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Let's uh, let's see what, what we got down here. Do we got a violent SMG that's way lower than... Yeah, this is a... Level requirement of this is 25... And this one's 37, and it's a Torg. I don't know if Torgs in this one are uh, explosive, but let's see. You know what? We'll get rid of the repeater, and we'll pick that bitch up. And, uh, wow. Look at this bitch. There's a hole in the roof. How did I miss a hole in the roof? How did I miss a hole in the roof? So, uh, up oh, there it is. There it is. Somebody over there is talking about a pound of flesh again. God damn it. Motherfucker. So, uh, yeah, I use Bandicam. And Bandicam gives me the best, like, quality for file size. Like, if you, uh, like, obviously, you know, fucking, what do you call that? Uh, Fraps is going to have great quality because it's uncompressed data. But it also records with huge files so it's like every like two minutes of fraps footage at 1080p is like i shit you not like 30 or 40 gigs well not 30 or 40 three or four gigs for every couple minutes for every couple minutes could you imagine how big of a fucking file it would be to do an hour two hour long q a motherfucker I have a lot of space on my hard drive, but I don't got a lot of space to be wasting it on fucking, you know, computer footage and shit like that. So, Bandicam is the best of all worlds for me. It's, uh, it's where I want to be. Let's, let's take a look at this shit. So, god damn it. 
Uh, we're going all the way back. All the way back. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Bandicam is what I use. I think it does a perfect job of recording. I hope you guys enjoy the quality at which it records at. And uh, let's get on with the next question. The next question is from Cloud MTHD. And he has to say, he says, back up. No, he says, uh, what's your favorite song? I've gone over this a lot, actually. And uh, my favorite song would probably be uh, November Rain by Guns N' Roses. Because it's just a perfect song. You've never listened to it. You gotta go ahead and listen to it right now. Like I give you, I give you permission to stop my. No, I'm just joking. Go stop the video. Go listen to November Rain. It's about eight nine minutes long, and it's actually a very good song. It's made by Guns N' Roses. It's fucking perfect. So uh, let's get on with the next question. The next question is from Fake Sniper One Two Three. He says, "Uh, we do more speed arts on Black Ops." And you know what? This this comment right here was the reason why I actually went and did more speed arts on Black Ops and did another one. Because I told you guys I like to do subscriber requested videos and it's obvious that he enjoyed my speed art. So why would I not put a video that you guys would enjoy? I think that you guys would have fun with. So, uh, you know, that's that's what happened. I went ahead and I did a video. And it actually did pretty decently. It's almost at like a thousand views overnight. And one of the that video actually did get a comment on it that says, "How does it feel when your Borderlands videos gets over three thousand views, and you're fucking? Let's see, do we gotta go? Yeah, that's where we gotta go. Let's uh get out of this bitch. Um, why did I switch? Yeah. Sorry about this, Skags. You're fucked. You are fucked, sir. Hey, you're supposed to be fucked. I already said you were fucked, so that means you gotta stay there and be fucked. Uh, holy shit! Hey! Get back here! Where you going, bro? Where you going? That's right! That's right! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, your comment, Mr. Fake Sniper123, is the reason I did that, uh, that QA. Look at these guys, level 14. Is he a badass too? Yeah, he's a badass. What? Now I know you guys saw that was bullshit. Let's line this up. Right here in the head. Ready? What? Yeah, we're only doing 45 damage to this motherfucker. Well, actually, it's better than I thought. What are we, level 12? Look at this guy. I'm just gonna... We're gonna... Why won't it snipe his titty? I want to snipe him in the titty. Yeah, right in the titty, badass psycho. I'm going to waste all my ammo taking this one guy out. Boop. Can I shoot him in the face from here? 214. Not bad, not bad. We can do better. Hey! Look at this guy. Look at this guy. You're getting all fucked up, son. All fucked up. Can I... Actually, you know what? This might... Yeah, DOT. Damage over time, son. I gotta get used to these dull uh, submachine guns, though. Like, it doesn't feel like it's hitting, but it's hitting. It's hitting. Come on. I want to fuck this psycho. Like, this is really frustrating. There we go. I wonder if there's bullet travel in this game. Like, do I have to aim higher than his head? No. Oh, shit. Look at this motherfucker over here. Where is he at? Hmm. Nice little 74 shot on him. I don't know why this guy's just standing here. Like, he's all like, what up, son? It's like, come get me. Come get, I'm not going to run up there, pussy. I'm going to shoot you from here. And your shield's going to come back. Can I throw a grenade up there? How far would that go? No. What the fuck? Come on. I know you guys are really like, what the fuck? What the fuck? 
I can't believe that... Oh, for those of you guys that wonder, I am playing with a controller. Uh, I'm not playing with mouse and keyboard right now. Uh, I know you guys are going to be like, what's the point of playing on PC if you're playing with mouse and keyboard with a, with a controller? And well, you know what? I like playing with a controller. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Uh, this is the type of game that I would play with a controller over top of mouse and keyboard just because uh, mouse and keyboard for this type of game, there's a lot of buttons to push. And I don't like a lot of buttons on mouse and keyboard. Just because, you know, fucking, it's a little awkward. That's why I have my Razer Naga MMO. But, uh, look at this pussy. Look at you. Look at you. You're dying. So, uh, the next question, actually, is gonna be about this game. And he says, Why, why can't I get up there? Yeah. Die. Oh, shit. He's come about... He's come about. He's come about. Die, psycho. Yeah. What? Yeah, give me my second win, bitch. Oh, shit. Who the fuck is shooting me? Why did I pause the game? <laughs> oh, shit. Throw that bitch up there. I hope he died. Yeah, boy. Get fucked. Get fucked up. I don't even know why I'm going up here. This isn't even part of the mission, but holy shit. There's a... Oh, shit. I don't know what's hitting me in here, but it's fucking me up. Oh, shit. I just got tomahawked across the map, son. Look at that! Ah, oh, shit, it's still hitting me! Fuck. I died again! I died again! That's alright, that's alright. That's alright. We're just trying to level up so I can go do that story mission, damn it. I'm just trying to level up. And uh, the next question, though, is from Lego Boys 767675. It says, Which version of Borderlands 2 would you rather. Uh, would you recommend a PC or Xbox 360 version? Well, sir, I've only played the Xbox 360 version, so that is the only version I can recommend. Uh, I don't want to go ahead and recommend shit to you guys and not have that actually fucking, you know, me know personally. Let's see, anything good here? Anything good? 26, da 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 da. Let me check my combat rifle. What's what's my combat rifle at? 24. It's actually pretty decent. I'm going to keep that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I don't want to recommend things to you guys that I've never played or experienced before. So uh, that's why I don't. And the next question is from Riccardi7011. And he says, is that Marcus telling the story for the intro on Borderlands 1? Yes, it is. It's, uh, there's nothing more I can elaborate on that. Let's uh, go on to the next question, and it's from Rage Ninja. And he says, "Do you like trains?" Uh, I don't. I don't dislike trains. I think they're a viable source of a, uh, you know, transportation. I think if you if you don't have a car, a train is a lovely way to get around. A train is is a very efficient way of getting around. It's a. Uh, it it might be something that you would uh. You would need one day. So, yeah, I like trains. I think trains are just dandy. Look at these motherfuckers. Look at this. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Pup skags. I'm going to start calling them poop skags. Look at these guys. We're going to shoot them in the big fucking mouth vagina. I need a better shield, goddammit. Can I buy shields from the medicines here? Let's go check that out. I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere that you it's still the same like Borderlands 2. So yeah, Rage Ninja, I don't mind trains. And uh the next two questions are from the life meaning of. And he says, Do you think they should add higher weapon ranks in Borderlands 2? Well, I mean weapon ranks are weapon ranks. I mean they're just uh What do I got? 118, anything good here? Very slow health regeneration. Uh, I want something with fast health regeneration. Does this one even regenerate health, goddammit? What am I using? 
high capacity. Now, I think the, the shield that I'm using right now is actually, like, uh, let's see, 74, recharge rate, 10 seconds. Two, 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 two. Let's go ahead and pick. I don't have enough room. Well, fuck you. Uh, oh, I can sell shit? Nice. Let's, uh... What was this? This is my shield now. Send the area. Let's blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Steel Bruiser. Why am I not using that? That thing's pretty boss. Let's go ahead and sell this one. This is pretty shitty. Uh, yep. I'm sure I want to sell that. And I want my healing shield. Even though it has less, uh... Let's go ahead and get that. Even though it has less capacity than the other one, it actually... It's actually going to be a little bit better because we're going to regenerate health. And I love health regeneration, so that's what we're going to be doing. And why am I not... Where's that 30 damage one that I saw? Yeah, let's, uh... Let's go ahead and swap that bitch out and see what... Is that a submachine gun? Yeah, that's a submachine gun, so... Uh, 37 damage or elemental damage do we want? Uh... Let's go ahead. Yeah, I see that it's full, motherfucker. Where's my combat rifles at? Where's my combat rifle? Is this the one that I was using? Yep. So let's go ahead and uh, take that off. Actually, uh, sniper rifle is not really helping us too much. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put that on. And I can switch in between the elements. The elements. And that'll be good. That'll be fur fucking perfect. Fan fucking tastic. So... Uh, like I said, I don't think that they should fucking, at, at, like, fuck with the ranks of the guns. I think what they should do is add what Borderlands 1 has, is where your guns pretty much, like, level up with you. It's called, like, weapon proficiencies and shit. So that makes, like, you know, a level, using a level 4 gun, even when you're level 12, to be actually pretty decent. And, like, in Borderlands, if you're not, if your gun's not the same level as the motherfuckers you're shooting, you know, it's not gonna do dick for damage. It's not gonna do dick for damage, and that's not gonna be something that you're gonna wanna fuck with. So, uh, yeah, look at all this carnage. Carnage, motherfucker, carnage. So, uh, the next question he has is, do you think they should add all the guns from Borderlands 1 and the Borderlands 2? No, I don't. But I do, I will tell you what I think they should do. Is that they should add, like, they, sh they need it to be like how Borderlands 1 is. Where you can get, like, this part, that part, this part, all on the same gun. Because right now it's like, you know, TDRs have this barrel. TDRs have this reload. It's always the same. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And the next question is from Orgasmic Cookies. And he says, what's the first time you ever jerked off? Is that too personal? Well, I mean, oh shit. I mean, it's pretty personal. But it's not too personal for me to mention. Uh, that's actually pretty decent, uh, sub -mach regular machine gun. But let's go on. Grab some ammo. And head up this motherfucking way. Because I'm pretty sure. Is this. Am I even in the right spot? I'm pretty sure I probably should be down there. I don't know why I'm even going up here, but uh, we're about to, we're about to find out. We're about to find out. Look at this motherfucker! Fire bullets, all in your face, bitch! All in your face. So uh, there was a chest up here, yes. And uh, what is that? That is something that I'm interested. In. Both of these. Look at this. Level 22, level 19. Am I even supposed to beat the fuck up here? Like, seriously. But how can I how can I pass that up? Especially when I got shit like that in my inventory. We're going to go ahead and grab this Vladoff Snipper. And, uh, yeah, the scatter gun. What am I going to... Lightning Gamble, TK's Wave. Uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Don't like that. We're going to go ahead and pick this bitch up. And we're going to save him. For when we really need him. For when we really need him. Yeah. 
That's funny. That's funny as shit, ain't it? If you didn't find that funny, fuck you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the first time I jerked off, uh, man, oh man. We're, we're going back now. This is going back to, like, what is this? What is, what is fucking 2013? Like, fucking, blah, blah, blah. We're going back almost 20 years, man. Almost 20 fucking years. To when I first jerked off, and uh, I actually remember when I first jerked off too. It was it was fucking amazing. It was pretty awesome. I gotta say, like, oh shit, there's shit going on out here. There we go. Fucking, I, I kind of remember it too. Like, I was in my room, and I, I know this is like. This is, like, well, alright, I'll tell you the first time I actually jerked off, and the first time I ever actually successfully jerked off. Because the first time I jerked off was in the bathroom. And, you know, I remember hearing friends make jokes. What the fuck was that? Holy shit! It's an ass ton of wreck. It's an ass ton of wreck. They do not attack like this in Borderlands 2. They do not attack like this in Borderlands 2. Holy shit. That literally... Literally... Oh, shit! What the fuck, Wreck? Oh, there he is. Woo! Alright, so, uh... Yeah, like, the first time I ever jerked off was an unsuccessful attempt because I remember hearing people, like, making fun of jokes, talking about fucking... I guess, uh, they are talking about, like, you know, jerking off with lotion and shit like that. And I was like, yeah, oh, fucking, that, you know, I wanted to give it a shot. So I gave it a shot. And, uh, we didn't have any lotion at the point in time. And I know you're going to cringe when you hear this. So I saw a, a, a vial, you know, a bottle of liquid dial hand soap. Yeah. Uh, you, you know it's coming next, right? If you don't, then fucking... It, it was probably the worst, most painful burning sensation inside my penis that I've ever felt. It, it was fucking terrible. It was, it was actually, do not use liquid hand soap to jerk off. It will not end well. It just, it won't. And fucking, that was the first time I ever jerked off. The first time I ever successfully jerked off was in my room. And I swear to God, it felt like I exploded from the inside out. And it was fucking amazing. And it was an experience that I'll never forget. But the most, like the biggest experience that I'll never forget is the fucking one where I fucking jerked off with hand soup. And never again. Never again. It was fucking... It, it was a bad experience. All right, so we are at the one hour mark, which means I want to thank you guys for watching. This was a Saturday special version of my Sunday Q&A. The next Sunday Q&A should be going up around 4 o'clock in the morning, Sunday Eastern time, which means that way I have my internet connection 100% available for you guys when I'm playing on my Guardians of the Middle Earth tournament and we're going to win some money. That's right. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys later.